in this video, I tell about how I was inspired by an article in Freeze magazine about Adam Pendleton to start a themed mini art journal and start playing with black and white art supplies and letter shapes. Go. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Hello everyone, this is Marike Blokland from Bloknote.nl and in this video I want to talk about inspiration. Inspiration is such a big theme. I could, I think, talk about the word inspiration for hours, but <clears throat> I quickly wanted to show you how it could work. Just a little inspiration process um, insight. Because a little while ago I was not so inspired and then I was standing in a magazine store and I saw this Freeze magazine and I already loved the cover which has these really pretty black and white uh, grungy letters on them. And then I saw the article about the artist uh, that made them, uh, Adam Pendleton. Adam Pendleton <laughs> is the artist and I just was so inspired by it. I I didn't read a word of the article so I'm sorry I cannot tell you anything about the artist but I just already loved uh, this page and then uh, especially also this page which shows <coughs> a wall in the museum where um, this is hanging I believe in New York? Yes, it's um, a solo exhibition in New York running until January 2020, um, which is already in the past, but who cares? <laughs> um, but I really loved this wall and um, I, I was really inspired by all these single um, paintings with black and white uh, letter shapes, shapes, and then some shapes of human figures in between. And then I still had one little empty um, uh, journal that I had not used just yet. And I started to just make black and white with yeah a bit of the chalky colors uh, as well but I started to play with letters, letter shapes, black uh, ink, blotches, um, yeah black and white um, contrasts um, and I'm not sure where this is going just yet these were just really inspired by uh, these paintings um, but I started to challenge myself to work more with letters and uh, letter shapes um, maybe because I'm uh, drawing dolls a lot uh, again lately this past year especially I drew a truckload of quirky dolls and um, originally I was educated to be a graphic designer and my love for uh, letters is, is always there. I'm using a lot of letters in my art journals as well. So um, yeah, this is something that I'm working on behind the scenes and I really don't know yet what I'm going to do with these ideas. But um, yeah, this I, I really think that this kind of um, pages are very easy and quick to make, but a lot of fun. I do regret a bit that the paper in this journal is so yellowish, which makes um, the white less white when you want to play with black and white. But on the other hand, what I really like is that I can now um, add a layer of clear gesso and then work with white uh, materials, like in this case a white crayon, and then the white is popping out of this page a little bit as well. So um, you can play with a sort of yellowish color and then use white more deliberately as a white pigment and like here as well 
using white ink on a black background and uh, yeah so I'm curious if you like this idea and if you maybe have journals that have a more special purpose and if you um, enjoy um, to hear a little bit more about playing with uh, letters and letter shapes because I'm starting to have ideas <laughs> about this uh, maybe um, do a course with only black and white uh, shapes or something um, I did a course on uh, dolls and a course on uh, raw letters and maybe I want to just combine letters with shapes and, and use black and white only but I'm not sure yet, this is just a fun idea that I'm having at the moment and um, yeah, thank you so much for watching this video about um, how I can just be really inspired by one little article in a magazine and then even start a special little journal um, inspired by uh, a page in an, a magazine. Thank you for watching, bye! That's it, thank you so much for watching this video. You rock! <laughs> Please support me by liking this video and subscribe for more quirky art inspiration and raw self-expression. Ciao!